If the reports of the super dog are true. You're a superhero. You're a hairy, four-legged superhero. You know what? You're like Superman with a flea collar. No, no. No, I'm not. You saved those people. I know. And it felt... good. But I can't do this. Someone's gonna recognize me and take me back. Take you back? Uh, t t take me back to normal. Turn you back to normal. I know. You ever read comic books? Mm -hmm. Look, it's just a normal guy and he puts on a cape, takes off the glasses, and he's a superhero. And people fall for that stuff? Yeah. Look, you're, you're a mountain and a dog and that's your secret identity. All you need is a costume. Well, as long as I don't look ridiculous. Am I standing? I can't feel my legs. You're Bumble Dog. Hey, whoa, no stripes. They make me look fat. Who am I supposed to be? Sherlock Bones? Count Dogula? Okay, this is why dogs bite people. Perfect! Underdog. Underdog? Hmm. I like it. It's my dad's old college sweater. But we'll need to make it work. But what do I do if your dad's around and I gotta, you know, take off? Bark three times. You know what? Yeah, okay. That's gonna be our code. You have to bark three times. Wait, wait hang on. Do, do I bark three times or say the word bark three times? Right, dog bark, got it. Uh, you know, I think that was dry clean only. Ow! Watch the ears! Ugh. Ugh. It's perfect. But we're still gonna need something else to get people's attention. Yeah, you're right. A flying dog in a red sweater isn't enough. You know, like a catchphrase. Like, up, up, and away, or it's clobbering time.